A teen is dead after an early morning shooting at an apartment complex on Jacksonville's west side, seen here through Sky 4. It's an apartment complex that is no stranger to violent crime like this. That shooting happened about 5.30 this morning at the Valencia Way Apartments. That apartment complex on LaBelle Street was formerly known as Eureka Gardens. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live now. Marilyn, what are police telling you about the shooter in this case? So there is very limited information on the shooter and they're hoping people in that area will come forward with information. We also don't have an exact age on the victim in this case, but News for Jack's records show 29 children ages 17 and younger have been shot this year. Nine of them were killed. Another teen killed in a shooting. I think that that's awful. This time it's at Valencia Way Apartments, formerly known as Eureka Gardens. JSO says around 5.30 Wednesday morning, they got several 911 calls about a shooting. When police arrived, they found a teenage boy between 17 or 18 years old lying on the sidewalk. He was shot multiple times, died at the scene. This nearby resident is sad to hear this. I don't agree with gun violence. And I think that especially young people, teenagers, who haven't really had a chance to experience life, deserve a second chance and deserve a chance to redeem themselves. JSO says the shooting happened near building 26. And if you look at that white sign on the back of the brick wall, it indicates the building number. Now we don't know any information right now about a shooter or why this happened. According to News for Jack's records, this was the first homicide at Valencia Way Apartments this year. Also this year, three people were shot at the apartments. In 2022, six people were shot and two people killed. Both those homicides were the result of shootouts. Violent crime at this complex had gone down, but seen a slight increase in the last two years. We called Millennia Companies, the owner of the apartments, to ask what they attribute to the decrease in violence and see if they'd comment on Wednesday's shooting. We're waiting to hear back. This woman wants people to consider the consequences of shootings. I think people should learn how to work together and communicate. And I think unity is a very important thing. She feels for the victim's family and loved ones in this case. Others say they hope the person responsible is brought to justice. And coming up tonight on News for Jazz at 6, just yesterday I spoke with Sheriff TK Waters about the value of life. We want to play that sound for you again because yet another child has been taken. That's coming up tonight on News for Jacks at 6. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.